Toyota unveils 2023 Toyota Innova Hybrid. It's not a secret to any of us that Toyota is currently working on several new product lines. Toyota's been toiling away at the development of a multitude of new autos to cater to the needs of the market, and Toyota's all set to unveil the upgraded version of its amazing masterpiece that's already so popular. So want to know the updates and gorgeous specs of this car? Stay tuned with Tech Addicts and subscribe to our channel. Let's begin. Who doesn't know the name of Innova and Fortuner? These are the two most well-known automobiles produced by Toyota. These luxurious cars have their own hype in the market. Even in some countries, Innovas and Fortuners are considered the assets of elites. Now Toyota is on the way to launching its Innova Hybrid, and people are awaiting eagerly. The diesel engine is the primary source of propulsion in both Innova and Fortuner. Probably the Innova won't continue to operate in this manner for much longer at all. The next iteration of the Toyota Innova will be an entirely new model that will not be based on the Fortuner, but will instead be a front-wheel drive, multi-purpose vehicle. This will be the case with the next version of that Innova. This new generation could be marketed as Toyota Innova High Cross, and it'll come standard with a 2-liter gasoline engine. In addition, a gasoline hybrid engine will be available as an available upgrade. Are you excited? But what is this new engine? The up-and-coming Innova High Cross model from Toyota will include a representation of each of the numerous groundbreaking engines and platforms that the business has been working on in recent years. We have already had the opportunity to test drive the brand new Toyota Urban Cruise High Rider, which comes equipped with a brand new 1.5-liter gas hybrid engine. Our overall impressions of the vehicle are favorable. The engine that has a capacity of 1.5 liters has three cylinders, while the engine that has a capacity of 2.0 liters has four cylinders and will be utilized to power the new Innova High Cross when it's released. As a consequence of all of this, in all seriousness, this will be the same engine with a different configuration of the cylinders. There are some additional details on the Toyota Innova Hybrid that we are going to reveal right now. This will be made available for purchase alongside the present Innova Crista, and it will be noticeably longer than the one that is now on the market. Additionally, it will come equipped with a great deal more cutting-edge technologies. If you're unsure about what you should be doing right now, one piece of good advice that we'll provide you is to put off purchasing until the new Innova's release at the end of November this year. And we also have some bad news for you. The Innova Crista that is now in operation has reached its maximum passenger capacity, even though reservations for the ship have been temporarily suspended. You know, it's heartbreaking. Therefore, even though you won't have any access to very many specifics regarding this MUV, you have the option of placing a reservation for the Innova High Cross, and this may be done through their website. In the past few days, however, additional allegations have come to light suggesting that the diesel engine found in the Toyota Innova Crista has failed pollution testing in the country, and that production of the MUV is also temporarily halted as a direct result of this issue. According to our reports, this piece of information came to light. And despite this, Toyota decided to enhance sales of the Toyota Innova Crista by releasing a limited edition model of the multi-purpose vehicle, or MUV, that was based on the gasoline version of the car. The Toyota Innova Crista model that's included in the limited edition is based on the GX version of the vehicle. This edition will only be available for a short time. The limited edition model, on the other hand, comes with a sizable amount of supplemental accessories already included. The truck-like body-on-ladder structure will no longer be utilized in the production of the MUV that will replace the current Toyota Innova High Cross. This is another selling point for the new model. This will be one of the features that sets the Innova High Cross apart from the competition, and set it to believe that the future generation of the Toyota Innova High Cross would implement the automaker's monocoque architecture, which is based on the TNGAC platform. In addition to that, reports indicate it will include a hybrid drivetrain. And as a result of the adoption of this new platform, it's projected that the next generation of the Innova High Cross MUV will be larger than the current generation of the Crista, while keeping a lower curb weight. In addition to that, it's been speculated that the next generation Innova High Cross multi-purpose vehicle will be equipped with cutting-edge driver's aid technology. It's projected that the 2023 Innova High Cross will be made available for purchase with a range of powertrains that include both gasoline and hybrid. When it comes to the hybrid powertrain, it's quite likely that Toyota will use the tried-and-true 2.5-liter Atkinson Cycle hybrid power plant that's featured in the Toyota Camry car. And this power plant's already used in the Toyota Prius. The normally aspirated Atkinson cycle engine with 2.5 liters of displacement and four cylinders that's found in the 2022 Toyota Camry Hybrid is capable of producing 
175.5 brake horsepower when it's operating at its max. Nevertheless, this engine gets a further push from an electric motor that has a capacity of 160 kilowatts and is attached to it. This powertrain, when combined, has the potential to produce a peak output of 215 horsepower, which is much above and beyond what is considered acceptable for an MUV competing in this market class. We predict that the upcoming Toyota Innova High Cross will be propelled by the same engine that was used in the earlier generation of the Innova Crista MUV. This is something we're looking forward to seeing. It was mentioned earlier, but the new Innova High Cross will also be offered a powertrain that operates solely on gasoline. The previous edition of the Innova Crista was driven by a naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine that was 2.7 liters in displacement and produced 164 horsepower at its greatest level, along with 245 newton meters of torque at its highest level. In addition to this, the ARAI has certified that the automatic version of the Toyota Innova Crista achieves a mileage of 10.75 kilometers per liter when equipped with this engine. So this time, it's providing more power to their people. And when it comes to the ADAS that can be found on the 2023 Innova High Cross, this active safety system is a component of the Toyota Safety Sense and is outfitted with a variety of features. Some features include adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, auto emergency braking, blind spot detection, and many more. In addition, in terms of amenities, it's believed that the upcoming Innova High Cross will come standard with a sunroof, an expanded entertainment unit that has wireless connectivity for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Lynx car technology, and a great deal more. Now it's time to reveal the next generation Innova's contemporary design both inside and out. The redesigned Innova will stand out from the crowd visually. It appears to be wider and taller than the current generation, particularly when viewed from the back, and it appears to make better use of the space available in the vertical dimension. It features a flat nose up front similar to that of an SUV, and then similar to the Corolla Cross, which was also developed on the same platform, it has skinny headlamps that have been peeled back, and it has a high-mounted grill. Expect it to have a very strong Toyota identity, in addition to the Innova identity, even though the grille's not quite as wide as the one on the Corolla Cross, and even though it curiously has a separate bumper and chin. So basically, this time Innova's being launched in a new design, and personally, we are so excited about its launching. The fact that the majority of GAC MPVs have sliding doors is noteworthy as well. However, the new Innova that was observed being tested appears to have standard doors, which is something that consumers seem to appreciate. On the inside, you can anticipate a layout that's comparable to that of MPVs that are built on the GAC platform, complete with all kinds of modern equipment, and this includes amenities such as Link technology, chilled seats, wireless charging, wireless Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, and even delight features such as reclining captain seats with an ottoman function for lazy boy levels of luxury, where you can recline with your feet up on the ottoman. And that ends today's episode. We sincerely hope you enjoyed our video today. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out other videos that have been specially selected just for you. And don't forget to leave us any questions or comments you may have. And we'll catch up in the next video. Thanks for watching.